Hello, my name is Tomasz Poszetek, and in this video, I would like to show you how you can actually export um, solutions that you have built in Microsoft Dataverse for Teams and import them elsewhere. And there can be many scenarios why you would like to do that. For example, you're just working for a customer and you build that solution in your own tenant, and then you would like to import that solution into the customer's tenant. Or that you've built this solution in one team and you would like to move it to another team. In all these scenarios, there is just one simple way to do that. Solutions. All right, so let me show you how to do it. Um, I have here like two tenants open. So this is the first one where I do have created a solution in Microsoft Dataverse. And this one is a tenant where once I navigate to Power Apps and also to the Retail team. So let me just um, go to Retail team. Then there is nothing here. So I would like to move all these solution into retail team in another tenant. All right. So first, what you have to do is to go to flow.microsoft.com. Now, why to flow.microsoft.com, not to make.powerapps.com? The fact is that in make.powerapps.com, so in the Power Apps portal, for some reason, once you click on the environments selector, you don't have here listed environments related to Microsoft Teams. So you do have all these productive sandbox trail, but you can't switch to uh, Microsoft Teams environment. But in our automate portal, you can do that. So therefore, you have to navigate to flow.microsoft.com and then simply switch to the environment that is related to the team where you have your solution built. Next, go to solutions. Now, what you have to remember is that Everything that you build in Microsoft Dataverse in specific team is by default um, created and stored within the solution is called the default solution. So if you're looking, hey, where is my canvas app? Where are my tables? Where is my flow? Whatever. Then all these features, all these items, pieces are going to be present under the default solution. So first I need to create my new solution. I'll call it the Solution export, for example. Uh, let's just use a default publisher. And right now I can simply navigate to my newly created solution and add existing features. So first I'll add the application. Obviously I need to select here from other solutions because this app is already in the default solution as I mentioned. So I need to add it. Right? Now, the good thing here, just, you know, not to click a lot of times and not to import every single thing uh, individually, is to now select this item, the canvas that we have imported, and there under the ellipsis icon, you will find this option to add required components. By clicking that, the solution will simply add all these related um, items or elements that uh, this application simply requires to run. All right, so it has added me already the tables that are being used by this application. Now, the second thing I want to do is to add the flow that is sending, or in this case, an active card to Microsoft Teams. And the last thing I want to do is to add a chatbot that was, that was also present uh, in that team. And also, by default, when I'm adding um, a chatbot, the solution is also importing every item, every related component to that, uh, to that chatbot. So it has already uh, imported as well the entities, the topics, um, well, anything that was required by this, uh, by this chatbot to run. All right, so right now this solution is ready to be exported. I have put here all the components I actually need. So I can easily hit the export. The next, I'll make it as unmatched because then I would like to modify it. And simply, now I need to wait a second until this is exported. In the same time, I'll navigate here to, guess what, to flow at Microsoft.com as well. And to solutions, because right here, I would like to import this solution. All right, so I have to hit import then browse to find the file I want to import. So here is my retail solution export. And then proceed through the next steps. 
Now, what is important here is that this solution, actually the contents of this solution, they will not be imported into uh, the new solution called Retail Solution Export, but they will be put again into the default solution because, well, this is where they belong to. And this takes a minute or even two minutes or even five minutes to import. If you do have any issues with importing solutions this way, with this, I mean, following the modern uh, interface, you can always try to switch to classic. So to hit this button, switch to classic, and then try to use the classic solution importer. However, I was trying this many times and this is really working fine. So I do not expect any issues with this importing. But anyway, it really takes a couple of minutes to complete. So now I will mute myself and unmute once this is done. And it has imported. Wow, it took it a really long time. Anyways, it is uh, imported, so now I can navigate back to uh, retail team. And just switch between the teams so that it's refreshed. And, well, here they are. So here you can find all these imported items. So what I also have to do right now, obviously, is to check if everything is working. For example, I need to uh, redefine the connections in Microsoft, uh, in Power Automate, in this flow, because it's off. And so if I want to turn it on, I need to edit it and change the connections because they were they're still pointing to the previous tenant. Uh, I should also go to Power Apps and check if this is all working. But the point is, this way you can actually move your solution from your Dataverse solution from one tenant to another tenant or from one environment, so from one Microsoft Teams team to another Microsoft Teams team. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, leave them below the video uh, in the comments. And of course, subscribe, like, and until the next time. Thanks and bye.